Join me in this episode to see how I figure out the inner workings of my newly converted micro camper, spending the night in the Welsh mountains. Hello. Now, today, what I'm doing is jumping off on a mini adventure in the Myco camper. Where to, you ask, JK? Wales. Let's move that out of the way. I'm off to Wales. Why, you ask, Jake? Well, uh, I'm heading off to do the first overnighter in this, the Red Rocket, the Beastie, the machine that we call the Peugeot 107, the one litre, three cylinder, like six brake horsepower <laughs> beast. Now, it's the first night in this, which is, um, it's slightly concerning, considering last night it was minus whatever, but it was snowing, it was cold. The top of the car was frozen and it was absolutely carnage. So hopefully it's not that cold tonight. But I've got a few little errands to run. I've got to pick up an Amazon parcel, which is exciting because it's my new drone. If you don't remember, this is what happened to my last one. I'll put that clip in now. There you go. That's what happened to the last drone. That was in Sweden. That was a lake that I managed to skip my drone across like a pebble on a flat old body of water. But we've got a new one. So I'm doing a night in the car. What was that? I'm doing a night in the car and then uh, I'm gonna wake up, have a coffee, get a brew on, and then I'm heading to a Borthy. And then we're good to go, but in fear of me carrying on rambling to the camera like a madman, let's go and get this drone. <laughs> Good to go. Right, so I'm guessing that's the new drone. Well, because if that's the new drone, it's flat pack. Someone sat on it. And that is a new anchor, like 26,800, excuse me, mini amp portable charger which is for some big trails coming up next year buzz in because my i've got like a red and black one it's around here somewhere but it doesn't it's dead man i've had it like six years i had that in canada that was 2017 what is it 2024 Ooh. yeah that's old no one really gets like three charges to your iphone now we're gonna get a shift on so let's get going One more thing, which is petrol and a diesel jerry can to return to Bex before we hit the road to Wales. We can stop and make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will be okay. Waking up to another day. day. Well, that went well. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I won't film filling the diesel can quickly. And uh, I've just got diesel all over myself because I filled it too quick, like a big knob. And it all shot out the top, like Ewan McGregor on the long way around. Um, now I've got it all over my trousers and my arm and my hands look like they're made of wax. Right, come on, let's hit the road. It's only a little bit of dermatitis. Set 
It is cold AF, man. Oh, oh, I'm just leaving Bex now. We've been in the landy for the last couple of days, back on the road before we head north back to Bow. Oh, but here we go, man. But what was that? Bye. <laughs> Sweet. Right. Oh, man, it is Baltic out there. Super cold, freezing AF. Oh. Oh my God, get it warm. Get it warm in here. Come on, baby. Right, uh, I've got two hours and 37 minutes on the clock. That's how long it's gonna take. I've just had a steak pasty, well, a couple of steak pasties, cool. Oh my God. Oi, I came in here half an hour ago and the puddles that I drove through, they're quite big to be fair, because it's a byway. They've already frozen in half an hour. It is cold. I hope my sleeping bag's good enough tonight. Because um, it's a cold one. And I was almost nippy in Bex's landy last night. Uh, and that's got insulation in the roof. Right, I'm going to get my foot on the gas. I'm going to get some miles down. And I will see you guys in a little while. Go, it's bumpy. <laughs> just rocked up at Road Chef because I am dying for a wee. I've got 57 minutes left, 40 miles to go, arrival time 19.25. I've got to upload tonight's video, well it's uploaded but I need to make it all the adjustments for tonight's video because it's currently Tuesday and that is uh, last week's video, well this is last week's video I'm doing. So yeah, good to go. Um, it's been pretty smooth sailing so far, there's a little bit of traffic out on the motorway but feeling good, feeling groovy and uh, yeah. We're winning, man. I have noticed though, as soon as I turn the engine off, it does get cold very quickly. That's the drama of having absolutely no insulation in here. I might need to sort that out. I think what I'm gonna do, I've got a roll of insulation, like the first stage stuff that I use on the van builds, but with uh, minus the self-adhesive side, I think I'm gonna get that out now. And just so I've got it inside when I get to my final destination, so I don't have to get out the car, I can just start fixing it into place. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I've got like some suction cups, I'm gonna put some holes through it, cut it to size, and make a little project out of that later. Uh, and then that'll give me a bit of privacy and a little bit of insulation. It'll just reflect it back a little bit. But first thing first, I need a wee. Good question. I know where they are. In the centre console. Suction cups, insulation. I'll do that when we get there. But oh my lord, it is cold out there. It is very cold out there. Let's see what we've got. Uh, no, that's my torch. Temperature. It is currently two degrees. Feels like minus three, apparently. So, uh, yeah, chuck the phone back on there for the sat nav. It's gonna be a cold night. Let's hope we don't wake up with frozen inside of the glass, if that makes any sense. I've got an itchy eye now. Right, I'm gonna take five minutes before I carry on. Oh, that's bright. I have just rocked up to the park up for the night. And the stars out there look amazing. I'm gonna keep the engine running for a minute to get it super warm in here. It's already super warm in here, I can barely breathe. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get it done, man. And then we'll sort ourselves out and get it looking a little bit more reflective in here. First impressions, it is very windy up here. 
Right, there's my beanie, there's my coat. They can go up there for now. Maybe try and bounce some of that light back. Because at the minute, the car is lit up like a Christmas tree. There's my sleeping bag. There's my Mac. Let's put the Mac up front for now. I think that's dead anyway. Let's just chuck that underneath there. Under the bed you go. Sweet. Don't lose your SSD, Jake, because that's got your entire life on it. Oh, man. All the shopping's still back there. Right. I'm going to take my shoes off. I've got hot feet. I had the old uh, feet blower on to make sure we had toasty toes before we uh, stop the warm. Okay, this is the chair forward. I mean, it'd be easier to do this with everything out. Food. There's the drone. Other parcel. Wind of vacuum. Oh my god, I've got so much stuff in here. This seat can now go forward a little bit more. <gasps> Don't crush the bread, man. Come on, dude. Okay, that's better. Now we can slip down here. Oh, yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Well, that can go there for now. Let's get the front windows lined up with this. I'm gonna have to use a bread knife because I can't even think where my Leatherman is, man. That's got scissors on. But, not out, that's sharp. Not entirely sure it is. So, use my knife. Chip shop indeed. Best way to do this might be to tuck it down like that. And then suction cut these two top bad boys. So I open this window, save my suction cups, open that window, tuck it up into there, and then shut said window. Is that what? Not, no. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Oh, that's good to go. That's sort of pretty chip shop, that's one done. Check this out. That'll do, won't it? For the, uh, for the back window, and then Front window might need suction cups, I think. Windscreen. Get the, uh, I think. Best bet. Mm. Yeah. Let's just slide it in. Uh, again, do we even need the suction cups? Can we get away with sort of popping that up like that? No, I think we're gonna. Yeah, I think we're gonna need the suction cups on this bit. Stand up like this here. Like not stand up, but I can get trousers on easy like this, which is, that's good to know. Cause it's always carnage in like small builds. How am I gonna put my trousers on? Do you know what I mean? All right, if we push these through it, do we put stuff at the bottom? Do we bring it up higher? I think so. Like that. Boom. They're just like, little suction cups and then they've got and they've got these little knobs that screw onto the back. So let's see where that one's gonna go. It isn't ideal I'll get up for free. One side's working better than the other. It's a little short that's why. By pushing my coat like that. How's this stuff wet already? These are very makeshift and at some point I will make them a little bit tidier. But for tonight, because we're struggling for time and effort. <laughs> struggling for time and effort. We'll just send it. That looks pretty good to me. If I don't say a moment. <laughs> I've just realized what it actually looks like through the camera. That is a joke. This is, in my defense though, I didn't say that it wasn't going to be janky as hell. And that it is. Um, I'm just debating whether to do these two windows. I mean, it would be a good idea for people looking in, but I've parked it in a position where I'm kind of facing out off the side of a mountain there, which I'll show you in the morning, and BT dubs. We can check it out on the drone because that is going to be dope. Um, I'm super excited to have a drone again. Um, so people can like come and see in through these windows if they're being that nosy. But I'm going to be up super early and... There's a bit of reverb. Boop, 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 boop. 
It's probably my steel roof that's uninsulated, vibrating from my uh, vocal tones. That should be interesting in the night. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty cushy. I'm definitely gonna do the rear window because my sleeping bag is, my toes are probably gonna push up against that slightly. These are my fire logs for the bothy tomorrow. There's my sticky light that's lost its stickiness. That's for a bit of ambience. Let's chuck this down there, out of the way. Um, where's the best place for this? Maybe a sideways. Sideways? Nope. Uh, under there. Does that work? Nope. I should probably break this down into its logs. Limited space. The reason it is mainly limited space is because I um I've not been back to Bow yet to the van since um, since Christmas. So I've got like Chrissy presents under there and oh, just loads of whiskey really. Could be worse. Hmm. Now, Mister, you know what? I'm supposed to be doing some meatballs and pasta, even though that's kind of in my head turned into meatballs and rice. But I'm not feeling it. Part of me is just thinking, make a ham sandwich, because I'm really tired now. What time is it? I'm knackered, mate. I think it's um. I've not slept the best the last few nights because I've been in the Land Rover and it's been minus numbers. At least I suppose I've acclimatized myself for tonight, but I am uh, not the hungriest. I'm gonna need a plate. That's a bowl, but it'll do. And that's a knife, but it'll do. Um, right, yeah, I'm going for it, man. Ham sandwich instead of the old not so meat balls. Is it sacrilege making a sandwich in a bowl? Dunno. Bothered. This has got me thinking, to be fair, mate. These were supposed to be for the boffy tomorrow, but I'm gonna grab a beer. I should have strapped this to the roof on the way here. It'd be freezing. You know what? They're pretty cold anyway, actually. How do I get into this? What are we on? The old brew dog. Lost lager. Might be lost, but I found it. Yeah, a little bit of ASMR. I can't get my thumb in. She said. That wasn't the best sounding can I've ever opened, I'm not gonna lie to you. But hey ho, cheers, chin chin. Very good, very nice. Right, that can sit on there. Please don't fall over, because that would literally be. I feel like it's gonna be my luck that it will. No, nah, it's pretty stable. It's looking good. Oh, the temperature's slowly dropping in here. I just gave Bex a quick call to say, hey, I made it. You know what? Didn't film any of it because I was um, in a little bit of a rush. Uh, but also, didn't want to take any hands off the steering wheel and didn't want to stop. But the back roads to get up here were like... What are they called? Um, green lanes. Man, it's serious. As soon as you get into the boonies in Wales, it is hardcore, dude. Never sacrifice on butter. That's what I say. Get it to every corner and enjoy it. I kind of wanted to show you how I cook in here, to be honest, or how I'm going to cook. I've not cooked in here yet, but I'm quite content with what I'm going to do, and I think it's going to work quite nicely. But I think we can talk about that in the morning, because I might make a bacon sandwich. We shall see. But I can go over there. Need some ham. Finest, mate. Only the finest. Only reason it's the finest is because they'd run out of everything else. Not sure why. Might be a pig shortage. Get that on there, mash it up a bit. If you put it on slice by slice, you're a psychopath. You gotta mash it up a little bit, but you know, each to their own. Gotta leave enough for an omelet. I might have an omelet in the morning, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do an omelet. It seems to last a little bit longer. Might do me like a six egg or something. Something big boy. So uh, I'm not hungry hiking out to that bothy. Very nice. And that's a ham sandwich. Could do with some mustard. 
I'm excited, man. It's getting to that season. It's very cold at the minute. It is January. I don't even know what the My light just fell off. T oh. Timing. I thought it was rain. It was just the um, self-adhesiveness of that falling off the roof. I do actually need to put that on better. One of many jobs. Like finishing my van shower. <laughs> That's took me however long. Yeah, I'm getting excited because it's like January and in like three months time. This isn't me wishing it away. I'm buzzing. I'm cut, just cutting around now in a little micro camper in the middle of Wales somewhere. About to film a star lapse. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to hiking season, man. And if you're looking forward to that too. And you're not already, smash subscribe, man. Or just open a few of these and get smash. Oh, that's good. I'm not exactly the uh, spearhead force of health and beauty here, am I? Slugging lager and eating a ham sarnie for tea. What's next, Jay? Buy a bulldog and beat your missus up. <laughs> Excited to show you this in the morning. It's my new toy. <laughs> it's my new toy. I say new, I've had it like three weeks a month now, and it's an AeroPress. Not sponsored, not paid for or anything, bought it myself. I think it's like 40 quid, 40 odd quid. They're expensive, like, but it's like a little travel one, it comes with its own little thing, like its own little pot and stuff, which you use as a mug. But I'll show you all that in the morning, because I'm quite interested, and it just makes really nice coffee. Um, and I've been living for the morning coffees at this time of year, because it is... It's not the best time of year, is it? And everyone gets like a bit of well, not everyone, but quite a few people. You end up with like a bit, of, a bit of sad in it, a bit of seasonal something depression, which it's easy to get a little bit low in it when you're when the days are as short as I think. Helping me really is just getting outside more and uh, just having a laugh, having a bit of crack, mate, out in out in the woods, out in the, uh, out camping, like last week's vid, me and Bex going out for a bivvy out, and it just feels refreshing, you know, if you can try and catch a bit of the sun, catch a little bit of a, what feels like a cheat, a bit of a winter break, where it's just a little bit warmer somewhere, it's just a little bit more sunny, that can really sort of boost you. Mentally, and probably physically as well, it's like vitamin, is it vitamin D that you get from the sun? Uh, yeah, but that helps and stuff. And if anyone is feeling all um, cack and stuff at the minute, man, and uh, just know you're not alone. And it is easy to uh, feel a bit turd when the weather's cack outside. What I will say is if you are struggling, reach out to uh, your muckers and um, family and uh, people that will listen that have got your best interest in hearts. And they'll uh, they'll square you away, mate. Um, but yeah, who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just a bloke sat in the back of a car, halfway up a mountain in Wales, eating an ham sandwich out of a bowl, supping. None of us have got life figured out, mate. So don't be too hard on yourself. That's what I'll say. I'm buzzing with this, man. Simple, effective, gets you outside with a little bit of luxury. I mean, probably better off in a tent, to be honest, but it's fine in a tent, isn't it? Well, finding somewhere to pitch it. And if you've got these window things cut, probably a little bit better than mine, I'd say. Pretty cut. You can knock them out in five minutes, jump in your bed, good to go. Next morning, take dog out or whatever. Or go dogging, whatever your fingers, mate. <laughs> I can do and that sort of thing. I better get my pineapple in. That's a good ham sandwich. Wait. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's getting cold. I'm shivering. New battery, because it died mid-sentence. I'm starting to think if I can ramble any more cack, that the old bothy trip might have to be a part two. Because, um... Oh! Oi, <laughs> it's dropped. I will tell you that for free. I ain't gonna start charging. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> cue advert. Uh, it's been about 20 minutes, half an hour, because I've been looking at the old YouTube 
comment from the latest vid. Thank you very much if you comment, if you like, and even if you just watch, mate. Thank you very much. It all helps me out. It's um, it's a real hard job to uh, feel appreciated in and feel um, feel like to get any sort of feedback from it. So uh, commenting, liking, subscribing, and all that good pish. It's uh, yeah. It's how I can see if I'm doing good or not. So thank you. The actual build for this is doing quite well at the minute, and uh, I just want to say thank you. If you've come back from that. Uh, thank you for watching it in the first place and thanks for watching this and yeah thanks for being an absolute awesome geezer original fridge freezer slash last i might start the engine back up for a little bit and then oh no come on let's do an unboxing mate come on come on i'm all excited now yeah yeah boy right here it is come on the lads ah oh. yeah ah oh. beer and unboxings that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's chuck you over here. Beer and unboxings. Righty tighty. Here we are. Yeah, I'm just gonna attach you to my phone so you don't fall over. Because you're in a GoPro mode. Sorted. Sorted. Right. What should we open first? The drug is cold. Do I put a jacket on? Or do I fire it up? Or do I just get in my sleeping bag? I might just get in my sleeping bag. Yeah. Don't knock the beer over, Jake. Come on, mate. You can do better than this. Oh. My lantern's gone. Oh. This is a mint bit of kit as well. I got sent this recently. Um, and it's a speaker and all. Probably can't see it very well because it's so bright. But it's got like the I've got the wrapping on it still because it sort of like subdues it slightly. But this um it's a Mifa M I F A lantern camping lantern, and it's mint. You can put an SD card in it, so if you just want to go off grid and uh, just like chill out in the woods and listen to your tunes, you can put a little micro SD card in with all your tunes on, and it'll play them. Cause it's a speaker, or you can connect your phone to it, and it's a pretty mint speaker as well as um it's a it's a lantern. With adjustable w adju warmth as well. Adjustable warmth. You can change it to like cooler lighting like that. I prefer the warm lighting because it gives it a bit of a vibe, doesn't it? I use it pretty much every day at the minute. Because I haven't got um, uh, like an aux cable to connect to this car. Because it's not Bluetooth on out. So I just connect that speaker and just listen to my boots and cats on the, on the, on the road. Get in your military issued sleeping bag that I definitely bought off eBay and didn't keep from the army. Yeah, all right. Oh, what have I dropped? I reckon if like some farmer comes around and he's like, knock, 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 what are you doing, best? He's gonna be like, this bloke's weird. First things first, this one is Anchor. Yeah, I've not, I've literally bought these myself, bought them off Amazon. Uh, not sponsored, nothing. I just thought I'd unwrap them in front of you because gear, gear and that, mate, it's, it's always fun, isn't it? Uh, and this is just a little, like, portable power bank, which is 2,600 and eight, 26,800 milliamp hours, AMH, is it? I don't know, but it's like the biggest small ones you can get. And I think it's like 450 grams or something, which is why I've gone for it. How the hell do I get into this? I just ripped the label off, but it's like, oh, there we go. Just undo the top. Is it white? I don't want, oh no, it's black, that's good. I've just dropped everything, I opened it upside down. Two micro USB input cables, because a cool feature about it, which I liked because when I'm on, I bought this for hiking trails basically because my other one's cax, I told you earlier. This, you can put two inputs at the same time into it, so you can put both of those in and it'll charge it double as fast. So it's got like smart charging sort of thing. And yeah, it's not, it's not very flashy. It's got like, it tells you how many bars of charge it's got. It's got three USB outputs and it should charge my phone a good few times. And it's a bit of a brick to be honest some weight to it, it's a baton. If anyone tries to attack you in the woods when you're camping at night, 
throw it at them or electrocute them. Yeah, so that's that. I'm, I'm impressed with that. And it's quite sleek because my other big end, like I said, is done in. Done. Bulldog. I crashed my drone in Sweden into a lake and it wasn't salvageable, which was upsetting because I love that drone and I couldn't afford to buy the same one again. So I've got the one without active track. The one that when you try and get footage of yourself driving, you end up in a bush in your car because it doesn't follow you without you playing with the joysticks. <laughs> There she is, DJI Mini 3. I had the Mini 3 Pro before, but beggars can't be choosers, eh? Drone only, because I've already got the controller, and it's the same controller. So yeah, man, buzzing. Looking forward to getting that out tomorrow and having a uh, blast around, in and around this range, in and around the car and stuff. So I better open that now, actually, and um, get it on charge. I think uh, like DJI now are owned by Apple, so it's like quite similar packaging to like if you get an iPhone and stuff. Now I didn't really have the funds nor want to buy this because January in it, money's tight. Well, YouTube in it, money's tight. But it's for you guys because um, it does it does add a good feature, doesn't it? Having the drone shots it does add a good bit of loveliness to a video. So yeah, here we go. Cut my finger off. Come on, man. There we go. There you go. Boom. I think that was like 320 quid. They're not cheap, like. Especially if you keep crashing them into things. I've written off two drones now. Morning. Oh, morning gangsters. Oh, it is a cold one. Here we are. I didn't show you the setup last night. Boom. Military dust bag, good to go. There's some sort of light poking through here. And I don't know if it's some sort of farmer's headlights on his truck or something. Or whether it's a morning sunrise, so I'm going to rush to get up and have a look. Because if it is a morning sunrise, I'm buzzing. I'm trying to think the best way to actually do this. Oh, drone's charged as well. Come on, let's get up and out. Oh, no. I shouldn't have brought these in, actually. They smell like diesel from yesterday. Come on. Just putting your leg in a hole, man. It's not rocket science. You've been doing it for 24 years. Nearly 25, mate. Oh, I'm feeling old. I still think in my head that I'm 19. I keep forgetting. It's been a while. Been a while. Oh well. Come on. Do your belt up, you idiot. I folded my rab jacket up. Inside out, that stinks of diesel. I thought I could smell diesel at night with my pillow. Um, it's a petrol car. Come on. I didn't say that it wasn't faff building a micro camper. Where are my socks? Turn the old lantern on. Just whoa, for a bit of rudimentary line. Oh, that's cold. Oh. Yeah, Ooh, still cold. <laughs> oh, shit, that hits in the bones, that does. You know, you can feel it going down the... Down there. All right, let's do the old jacket up first. The old uh, gilet. Check that out. Arc'teryx. Think I paid for that? Absolutely not. My dad found it on a park bench. And he didn't rob it. He went somewhere... Saw it on a bench, did the nice man thing, put it over the back of the bench because it was on the floor underneath it, and went, I'll leave that. Someone will come back for that. 
when he came back round, they'd been there at this park for like four or five hours. They were the last ones leaving. Um, it was all locked up and stuff. Him and his uh, lass. And uh, it was still there. He went, well, that ain't getting uh, gone, is it? He brought it back. He was like, found this. I was like, that's Arcturex. 180 quid's worth, mate. I was like, get that in the wash. And he gives it me. So I was like, Sam, eager. Freebie, mate. Don't think I'm posh with Arcterex on and that. I've had this rab jacket. Look at how many. You think I'm buying Arcterex for 180 quid when I've got 50 million holes in my jacket? No. I've had this rab jacket about six years. And uh, I got sorted out by some lovely subscribers last year to buy me a, a new one. But it's like a lighter weight one that I use for my summer hiking. Um, but here I am. Right, oh, come on, we're gonna miss this sunset. Oh. Stunning. That wind is lethal. Absolutely lethal, that wind is. Right. God, it's a cold one. Oh, look at Oh, stunning stream up there coming down the... They're all frozen. Boudoir. Absolute boudoir. Oh! Oi, it's cold out there. Come on, let's do a scores on the door. Let's do... Oh, everything's slow. Everything's slow because of the cold, I think. Scores on the doors. Where am I? Let's have a look, see if I can tap myself on Google Maps and see if it'll give me a one degree. It's one degree right now and I checked it before I went to bed and it was minus two. It's weird though. Well, actually, no, it's not weird. I was going to say the car hasn't frosted up, but the reason the car hasn't frosted up is because my body heat's been warming it up all night, hasn't it? But all those uh, waterfalls up there that are frozen... That makes sense. I wasn't really cold in here though. I think it's because it's such a small space. So Bex is still over in Wiltshire. Uh, obviously I'm in Wales. Um, and I rang her just then uh, before I got out of bed. And I gave her a quick call then uh, before I got out of bed. And uh, she said that the windows on the inside of the Land Rover were frozen up. So it's definitely colder there. I reckon she got down to like minus three or four last night or it's down to the fact that it's a bigger space in there, so her uh, heat doesn't warm up the... her breath doesn't warm up the... Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Right, oh, I'm gonna get a coffee on, because it's cold. Just thought to myself, one, I either turn the engine on and get it warm in here, or I just get the gas on uh, and make myself a brew. And I think number option two is probably the best, because it kills two birds, doesn't it? And what we're gonna do, to make a brew station, Slide this cushion up, yeah, pull it out, slide it on top of there, chuck this stuff on here. I'll chuck my sleeping bag up there for now, actually, just to get it out of the way. And there we go. Got this big area now to chuck my stove on and get a brew on, slash do any cooking and stuff. And it's just as easy as sliding that back across. Good to go, mate. Right, stove. This is asking. It's a big risk doing it over my, over my knee. That'd be enough water, wouldn't it, for a brute? Yeah, I think there's more than enough water in there. It's quite cack. There's no, like, handrails up here. You know, the ones you hold on to, because they've done everything on the cheap with these cars. Because I could clip the camera on there. Here's my stove. This is a... Primus. Primus. Primus? Primus? Primus, I guess. Just folds out. Just a little triple action. Good to go, Jobby. Doof. And then attach said gas bottle. Yeah. Nipped, mate. Oh, it's cold. Kettle's on. Good night's sleep. I had probably had the best night's sleep I've had in the last like three or four days to be fair. Um, what more can you ask for? Well, I don't know, Jay. How about a warm bed and a shower? It's no adventure though, is it, man? This is. This is where it's at. Uh, thanks for everyone that said they like the fresh trim. 
It feels weird though, man. I feel like I've lost my sense of identity with my lack of luscious locks. But yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? If I keep going like this, I might have to just rejoin the army. Psych. <laughs> Not happening, mate. They wouldn't have me back. They'd be like, F that kid. <laughs> Dorf. That keeps the ears toasty, doesn't it? The drone. Should we have a little fly while we're waiting for the kettle to boil? I think we should. What do you reckon? Go on then. Oh. Right. Let's have a look at this stunning scenery. Let's have a go then. As I mentioned last night, I've got the AeroPress. And basically, I'll just take this off, little rubber holder, which this is your cup here. You can put that little rubber holder around it and that squares that away, just in case it's too hot and burns your little hands. Inside that, you've got your stirrer, which is for your coffee once it's in there. And basically, is put this in, like that. Turn it upside down, take the lid off like that which has got the filter in. It comes with paper filters, but I bought a metal filter off Amazon. Fill your coffee like that, fill your water, fluff it over, and then you don't leak loads of good produce because it does that, because it creates a vacuum. Um, whereas if you don't create a vacuum, this coffee smells nice. It ends up leaking out before it's even brewed, and uh, no one wants that. No one wants unbrewed coffee. It smells like chocolate. Fruity with fresh lemon and blackberry notes. So no, it doesn't smell like chocolate apparently. I don't want to spill it anywhere because this bed at the minute is really clean on the underside. And I don't want coffee and cooking all over it, which is probably what people thought as soon as I said I was going to cook on it. I might have to like laminate it with something. Fill this. Over yourself. Good idea, Jay. Put that down there. This is like, it's like being back at school doing some like mad science even though i wasn't allowed to do the mad science because i was naughty and they didn't trust me yeah i was that kid <laughs> fast forward 10 years i'm now in the back of a car talking to a camera i think it's turned out pretty well to be fair f those teachers man <laughs> it's quite hard one handed actually some resistance on that Got that strong. That needs a little bit of, it's a bit too. I don't know if I'm about the berries in that. That's quite, that tastes like blackcurrant. I'm not getting it on the aroma, but I'm definitely getting it on the taste buds. Oh, oh. Go, that took a few seconds to go over that. Come on. I've just turned the engine on, man, because I've just been messing around outside taking all these bits and bobs off from the outside and sorting myself out. Oh my God. Oh, it's cold. It is really cold. Yeah, I need to sort of get a shift on. I think that this video is gonna be long, mate. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make it a two-parter. This is gonna be end of part one. We're gonna wrap it up. This has been the first night in the micro camper and it's been sick to be fair. It was actually, it was, you know, it was a lot warmer in here last night than I thought it would be. I think it's because of the small space and stuff and I'm super buzzing with it. And then episode two is gonna be the Bothy camp. So I'll probably rock up there now. I'll go and cook some breakfast in the back here. And then, uh, and then we'll get up to that Bothy and go and meet the mystery guest. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you wanna know as soon as I upload another video. Some cool stuff coming, man, I'm enjoying this. Woo! I will see you for episode two on Tuesday, or it'll probably be earlier out on Patreon if you wanna check that down below. Also, anything you've seen me wear in this video or gear and stuff like that is on my Amazon page where I've got it all laid out, all fancy and stuff. You can check that down below as well and that helps me out. So peace, one love, and I will see you next week. <laughs>